Hey guys, Idan here from arcviscamp.com and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create grass material using V-Ray Fur Modifier. I'm using the same scene from the previous grass tutorial, if you've seen it already. So I'm using a simple plane with a turbo smooth and noise, noise modifier and a UVW map. Let's jump into the camera view. Going to select the plane and add a V-Ray fur modifier. So this is how it looks right with the default parameters. We can see here our plane, some parameters to the geometry of the grass. We can set variation and add some map to edit the variation furthermore. Let's make a test render to see how it looks for now. As you can see, we need to edit uh, some of the parameters, of course, and add um, the material for the grass later on. So I always like to use uh, some reference image and to analyze it so I know how to change the parameters in uh, 3D Max. So as we can see, the grass is uh, growing in a um, variety of directions and not only to one uh, major direction. We can see that we have um, uh, quite variation to the width of the blades. We have some uh, thick ones, some thinner ones. And as well to the length. We have some tall ones and some small ones. Another thing uh, we noticed that with natural grass that the tip of the each blade is pointed. And we can see that we have some translucency on the material, so light uh, can come through. So with that knowledge we can now set um, each parameter to copy this behavior. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But first, let's uh, bring up the maximum elements so you can see it much uh, better. I'm going to add a basic material for now, just for a test previews. Create a new V-Ray material. I'm going to set a light green color. And apply it to the fur modifier. Let's start by reducing the length. to about uh, 4 cm. The, the thickness is uh, good for now. Let's change the band parameter.
the taper modifier controls the tip of each blade. So to get a pointed tip, we need to set it to 1. Okay, moving on. Leave the flat normals checked. So um, each grass won't be looking like a tube and, and instead it looks flat. So I'm going to change the direction variation. About one is a good variation for our grass. Also increase the length variation a bit and the thickness variation. Make a test render. Okay, so right away we can see that we can uh, reduce the thickness of each blade. And maybe reduce the bend amount. And obviously we need to increase the distribution. So from uh, point 0.2, let's make it something like 6. That's starting to look more like uh, grass. Maybe increase a bit more the distribution. I'm going to continue by um, creating our grass texture. This is the diffuse map that I'm going to use. It has quite a high resolution. Connect it to the diffuse map. and connect it to the reflection and the reflection glossiness. I'm going to bring a bump map, which is the same map but with uh, no saturation, and set it as a bump. Now let's tweak uh, some of the parameters, I'm going to reduce the glossiness amount and uh, increase the subdivisions under the map tab I'm going to reduce the reflection and the glossiness amount
as you can see we get a variety of color all around the fur modifier and you can control it by um, the size of the UVW map on the ground so actually the fur modifier gets its color from each and every point of the grass textures Okay, so now let's uh, create the color for the gra for the ground. Usually, the ground is covered by uh, dead uh, leaves and the uh, dry ones. Let's name our material as grass fur and I'm going to copy it by uh, holding down shift and name this one grass ground. Let's apply to the ground plane. Let's add a color correction map. Going to connect the diffuse into the color correction and change its color to a yellowish color something like that reduce the saturation a bit and increase the gamma to about 2.2 Now I'm going to disconnect the reflection and glossiness maps and add maybe a little amount of reflection, reduce the glossiness to about 0.6. And you can even connect the bump to the reflection amount so we get an uneven uh, reflection. Now I'm going to increase the bump amount, about 60, and reduce the blurriness amount, so you can get a sharp result. In the diffuse as well, about 0.5. Okay, lastly, what we need to do is to create this translucency effect. So that could be uh, achieved by adding a very two-sided material. And I'm going to connect the fur grass material to the front of the two-sided. And I'm going to add another viewer material, which is going to be our backside.
but the trick is to give it a green, uh, light green color. So whenever light comes through, it will show up as um, a bit glowy, saturated green color. Okay, connect it to the back side. And I'm going to enable it, the map, and reduce the translucency a bit. So this is the final result after some uh, post-processing. And this is the second version, which I use the colored map to control the variation and the direction of the grass. If you want more details about it, you can click in this uh, link below. So that was it guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and visit me at arcpeacecamp.com. Bye.